What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our April 29th fishing report and our giveaway results. Uh, guys, we so appreciate all the support you've given to us. Uh, we flew past 600 subscribers this week. So uh, if you're out there and you have not subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment below. All right, and this report is brought to you, as always, by Great Bay Marina. Um, their boat ramp, $15, open from 7 to 4. They got all the bait and tackle you need. So check them out. Uh, great, great people, Tom and Ann, down there at Great Bay Marina. Yep, they are great people. Uh, all right, guys, so uh, this past week, uh, it seems like as far as the Great Bay goes, um, the cold weather we had last week seems to kind of put a, 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 a stall on the striper bite, it seems like, a little bit. Um, a few guys that were catching them uh, seem to be doing really well in plug still at the mouth of the Mulligan River, um, and they're they're you know doing really well. We showed you the plug last week. I'll flash up here again for you uh, the plug that they're um, the reports that we're getting they're doing really well on. Um, but uh, I know we kind of mentioned the Raritan Bay before. Uh, if you guys are looking for some good quality keepers, I mean I know the Raritan Bay is a little bit of a hike, uh, but our buddy Steve, uh, who is known as the Line Cook. Uh, on YouTube. His link will be below in the description. Um, him and his buddy went up to the Raritan Bay area and they were out during basically midnight, right? They're out in the middle of the night. Um, I know we kind of mentioned about that before with striper fishing um, in the middle of the night and they were fishing incoming tide um, and they were wading out and they actually ended up getting into a good quality school of stripers uh, that were actually chasing some bunker um, and they were using the SP minnow in a bone color and they were having a blast. Uh, they, they actually had the video up on YouTube I'll put a link to that below. They were just, they were, they were killing them, having a great time catching good quality fish. Um, so if you guys are looking to catch some good quality stripers, the Raritan Bay seems to be the place right now. Um, as far as the Great Bay goes, crabbers are still doing really well back in the lagoons. Um, and then we have a report of, of a, I mean, a singular bluefish uh, being caught uh, in the Great Bay. So uh, hopefully with this warmer weather coming here, um, that'll be heating up. And if you guys are one of the people who watch the dogwoods, this is, uh, this was, this was new for us again. Um, the dogwood trees are starting to bloom. And according to some guys, that means that the stripe or the bluefish are coming into the bay. So keep an eye on that. All right, guys. Well, the tog season is coming to a close. Uh, tomorrow, April 30th, is the last day. It'll open again on August 1st. Um, so get out there one more day, throw a couple green crabs, and just uh, see how you do. Um, seems like it was a pretty good tog season for you guys. Um, got a lot of reported, a lot of nice tog being caught. But again, Ted Hines um, and his crew on the machine, they limited out twice this week. Once on Saturday and again on Tuesday. So they did a they had a couple great trips out there, it sounds like. Um, sounds like the drum bite is picking up just a little bit. Tom told us guys are catching them off of Graveling Point uh, using fresh clam. Uh, but we got a report of a 30-pound drum being caught in Tuckerton Bay. This was caught by uh, Jeff Stein um, on Captain Dave's boat fluking around. So that was just an absolutely beautiful fish. Monster. Absolute monster. All right, guys. Now we are going to get to the... the time that you have all been waiting for uh this is um the time to to reveal the winners of our 500 subscriber giveaway and like i said guys so thankful for all the support we've gotten you guys have been awesome um in third place and you can't make this stuff up in third place the winner is none other than tubby guy outdoors tubby guy outdoors thank you. congratulations third place and second place is going to be Isaac. All right, second place, we uh, we got William Strobel. So congratulations to you. Um, super excited for you taking that second place there. Yeah, local guy from uh, what we can tell anyway. So congratulations to William Strobel. And the first place and the winner of the $100 Bass Pro Shop gift card and, and, and a Jersey Boy sticker. Okay, don't forget that. Is Bucket Brigade. Bucket Brigade, congratulations to you on the uh, uh, winning $100 yeah, Bass Pro Shop gift card. What we need from all three of you guys is to reach out to us on any of our social media platforms, either Instagram, um, drop us an email, or hit us up on Facebook. Uh, all the links will be in the description below for how you guys can reach us. We need you guys to get in touch with us. Uh, William, we need you to pick your prize, and we need all your addresses and, and names and stuff like that. Congratulations, you guys, and thank you, everyone, for participating. Yeah, congratulations. All right, now back to the report. Um, the tides for this week, the tides for this week are setting up... Um, uh, nicely, if you're looking for mid afternoon, or or actually, if you guys are looking to do like Steve did and get out there during that midnight bite, uh, Friday our high tides at 12:02 p.m. Saturday our high tides are at 
12.25 a.m. and 1.04 p.m. Sunday, it's 1.25 a.m. and 2.05 p.m. So if you're looking for that midnight bite, this is the week to try it. All right. Well, the weather for this weekend, um, Friday and Saturday, uh, small chance of rain, but it's going to be a little windy. We got 30, uh, 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts, so a little breezy Friday and Saturday, but Sunday is looking really nice. Uh, temperatures in the low 70s. Uh, wind's not quite as bad as Friday and Saturday, so Sunday's going to be a great day. Get out there, see what you can do. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate all the support. If you're able to get on the water, let us know how you do. Send us those pictures. Good luck, everybody.